before I get started, um, rest in peace, Tommy Lasorda, Don Drysdale, Hamran, Hank Aaron, and anyone else that I may have missed, um, Vince Scully's wife, um, and anyone else. And uh, this one's for you, for all of you. <laughs> so, welcome again to everyone's favorite, um, well maybe not, maybe it's the Action Figure Reviews, but everyone's semi-favorite type of video that I do, baseball card openings, yeah, and the, the baseball card packs that I'm going to be opening this time around are from 1989 score major league baseball. And now I'm not going to open up this whole box on the contrary. I'm going to open up a singular corner from this box and I'm going to make it into a video. And then later on down the line, I'm going to open up another corner and so on and so forth. And, um, it's kind of fitting, honestly. It's kind of fitting that I that I chose to. I'm sorry. It's kind of fitting that I chose to um, open up a box of this. It's like um, in celebration because it's like 1989 was the last time Tommy Lasorda was the the defending the manager of the defending champions, the Los Angeles Dodgers. And, um, and I felt it was just appropriate for that way to do it, you know, I, I just, it just all came together, you know, and, um, uh, yeah, there's not much more to say, you know, just, you know, rest in peace, Tommy Lasorda, rest in peace, Don Drysdale, uh, Vince Scully's wife, Hammer and Hank Aaron, everyone else, and let me get started with this box, um, I, I just love the design, I love the design. And it's, it's um, just pretty great. Uh, it says photo quality, so and a uh, Kirby Puckett is showing right there. And um, th th these type of boxes aren't that expensive um, because they are uh, they are considered um, being they are they are considered as being part of the junk wax era. Uh, why do they? What's what's the meaning behind the name? Of course, I'm going to describe what's the meaning behind that name. So the junk wax era is the fact that these packs are wax packs, and well, the thing about it is that they're considered junk, not in the in the sense that they're kind of devalued due to the fact that they produce so many of them. So. Whereas baseball cards since from like the 70s and the early 80s, they were kind of limited in, in scope. You know, they probably, you probably had like 1 million cases produced of it. In this case, they produce like 10 to 15 million of them. So it's like way more easier to get a certain card. So even if you get a rookie card, right? It's like you can't compare a Mickey Mantle rookie to like a... Unfortunately, uh, King Griffey, uh, King Griffey rookie card because the King Griffey card it was more widely available, and that's just the way it was. Um, hence why, henceforth, they called it the junk wax era. And I don't know if the current baseball card market is heading towards that similar situation because they're kind of at a crossroads right now. Uh, right now. The baseball car market is limited, not due to the fact that it, they're limited because they're kind of being careful with how many cars they produce. But in the, in essence, they're making cards valuable. So it's like, for instance, let's let's shoot one out there and say like a Dustin May rookie card. A Dustin May rookie card right now is worth money, especially if he develops into an amazing pitcher down the line, because they didn't make that many 
Dustin May cards. I mean, that's the reason why I head over to Target, I head over to Walmart, I head over to sporting goods stores, and I have a hard time finding baseball cards because they've all been bought off. That's it. They're not making any more. The main difference is that in the late 80s, early 90s, they continue making these cards, they continue producing these cards, but in essence, they devalue them because it's like, if I have a rookie card of so-and-so player and they actually end up being such a good player, but then thousands upon thousands of other people also have that same rookie card, even if it's graded a PSA 10, it's not worth that much money. So I'm hoping you guys get that. If not, well, we got more corners to go through and I'll try to explain more if you guys don't understand it. But for now, let's open up these packs. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine packs. Uh, there's 36 in the box. So let's get started. Let's open up these packs from 1989. And of course, there are 16 player cards and one Magic Motion Tribute card per pack. So let's see. At the very least, I don't have to chew any 30 year old gum this time around. So, ha. All right, so here's pack number one. Would you look at that? Super baseball card album for $10. And while supplies last, I wonder if it's, I wonder if this offer's still on the table. But yeah, there we go. Pack number one. Imagine I get like a Griffey Rookie or something. Even though I think the Topps Griffey Rookie is the most valuable one. All right, so, oh, starting right off with Jose Canseco, a very, very, very infamous figure in baseball. And uh, there he is. Great player at the time. He was probably having a career year this time around. Uh, ended up winning the World Series um, with the o Oakland Athletics against the San Francisco Giants. Uh, from the Padres, Tony Gwynn, another elite player. Great hitter. I think all-time leading hitter for the Padres. And uh, Phillies, Lance Parrish. Now we're getting to names I really don't recognize. Uh, but hey, uh, I do recognize this guy, Paul O'Neill from the Reds. Paul O'Neill from the Reds. Uh, he played a few seasons with the Reds, and then he ended up going to the Yankees. Big reason about Paul O'Neill is the fact that he was Cody Bellinger's favorite player growing up, despite the fact that his dad played on the same Yankees team with him. But yeah, Paul O'Neill is more known for his Yankee days than his uh, Reds days, but there you go. That's his card right there. Uh, from the Padres, Marbel Winnie or Wine or whatever. And I, I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but I really don't know. Uh, Mark McLemore from the Angels. Uh, once again, I, I'm sorry. I, and I guess this is the Magic Motion card. And it's, uh, let's see if you guys see, 1955, A Year to Remember. And... A Al takes AL bat title, so I'm pretty sure they're talking about Al Kaline from the from the Detroit Tigers. Al Kaline at 20 becomes youngest ever to win batting with AL leading 340 average. Rookie Sam Jones tosses no hitter. I guess they're just describing like they're describing the whole year. Um, dang, it's a bit too bright. It's a bit too bright for. Um, there. Uh, yeah, whatever. Can't. Tacovi, Tacovi from the Phillies. Bob Nepper of the Astros, and boy, do I miss the Astros being an NL team. That's when they weren't cheaters, you know. Dave Collins of the Reds, the Mighty Reds. Uh, they would wind up winning the World Series the following year. Brian Harper of the Twins. That's the next guy. Wes Gardner of the Red Sox. Brian Smith of the Montreal Expos. And uh, honestly, Montreal needs a baseball team. They need to bring back the Expos. Zane Smith of the Braves. Dennis Lamp of the Red Sox. Jeff Bittiger 
of the um Wow, the White Sox. Wow, I was going to say the Cleveland Indians due to the fact that they have a C on their cap. But uh, I guess that was the uniform style at the time. So, And Jeff Musselman of the Blue Jays. So there you go. Uh, favorite card from this pack. Let's, let's give uh, old Jose Canseco a break and make him the favorite of this pack. So that's pack number one. Here we go again with pack number two. Mm. Alvin Davis of the Mariners. Oh, Steve Sachs of the Dodgers. Mitch Webster of the Montreal Expos. Mark Langston of the Seattle Mariners. Robin Yount, great player of the Milwaukee Brewers. BJ Surhoff of the Milwaukee Brewers. And here we go, another year to remember card. 1948, Lou Booth's Drive Home. So, uh, player manager Lou Bredow, the AL MVP, hit two home runs and two singles to lead Indians to 8-3 and three win over Red Sox in the first AL playoff for Pennant. Uh, so, um, I think that was the last year that the Indians won the World Series. So, it's been a long time since the Tribe have won the World Series. And uh, speaking of which, I don't know what's going on with them. I heard that they're changing their name from the Indians to the Tribe, which is fine. I really don't care. I really don't mind, but uh, you know, I I don't know. I'm a big fan of Major League, so it's gonna it's gonna feel weird watching that movie now and seeing the fact that the team changed their name. But huh? Mike Dunn, Mike Dunn of the Pirates, Gene Larkin of the Twins, Todd Warrell of the St. Louis Cardinals. Hey, Rick Honeycutt. Rick Honeycutt of the Oakland Athletics. I was going to say Dodgers because he was the bullpen, the pitching coach for such a long time for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And uh, he deserves that ring. He really did deserve that ring. Scott Bales of the Cleveland Indians. Luis Aguayo. I like his first name. Luis Aguayo of the New York Yankees. Stan Jefferson of the San Diego Padres. San Diego, the second largest city. Lloyd McClendon of the Cincinnati Reds. Joel Youngblood of the San Francisco Giants. And the catcher, Alex Trevino of the Houston Nationals. I do miss the Astros being the national team. So I gotta give the favorite card nod this time around to Steve Sachs. Saxy boy, man. Saxy, you know? Uh, just for that Simpsons cameo. Uh, here comes pack number three. Here we go. Alan Trammell of the Detroit Tigers. Legendary shortstop player. Andre the Hawk Dawson of the Chicago Cubs. I know him a lot better from, uh, funny enough, from like being a member of the expansion team uh, Florida Marlins. And uh, Andre Dawson, that's a tragic story, man. It's like, he... All he had to do was wait one more season because he retired in 1996. He retired in 96 on the Florida Marlins. If he would have played one more season, he would have been a World Series champion. Bill Ripken of the Orioles. Is that Cal Ripken's dad? That might be. Uh, actually, he is the little brother of uh, Cal Ripken. So. Don Baylor of the Oakland Athletics. Uh, Don Baylor, that name sounds familiar. Was he on the Red Sox before then? I don't know. Oh, fuck yeah. 
Kirk Gibson of the Dodgers. Gibby. Legendary. Legendary Dodger player. And Chris James of the Phillies. Now here's the year to remember. 1941. Jolton Joe hits. Joe DiMaggio, the Yankees Clipper, hits in record 56 consecutive games. So that's when uh, he had that record, which is a record that's still standing today in baseball. And the person that came closest to breaking that record was Pete Rose. And I think Pete Rose only got to, um, I think uh, Joe's record is like 50-something games, and Pete Rose only got up to like 40-something. So it's a, it's a record that probably will never be broken in Major League Baseball. Uh, Neil Heaton of the Expos, Joe Orsulak of the Orioles, Bob Boone of the Anaheim, uh, actually at the time, at the time, at the time, at the time, it was the California Angels. And John Moses of the Twins, Steve Ontiveros, of the Oakland Athletics, Danny Heap of the Dodgers, Mike Schuler of the uh, Mariners, Dennis Rasmussen of the San Diego Padres, Steve Shields of the New York Yankees, and this 1988 World Series World Series card, and as you can see, it's the Dodgers and the A's. And I, oh man, that's that's pretty awesome. It actually talks about like the American League champs and the National League champs. And low key, I was gonna pick another card as my fave, but yeah, I think I think this uh, World Series card just took the cake. Favorite card from this pack. So there we go. Here comes pack number pack number four. Mickey Brantley of the Seattle Mariners, R.J. Reynolds, R.J. Reynolds of the Pittsburgh Pirates, I thought it was R.D. Reynolds, Eric Davis of the Reds, Willie Frazier of the Angels, Is that a Hellcat? Mark Einhorn whoa, of the Toronto Blue Jays, Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel. Here comes our card, and the motion is 1934, and five Ks for King Carol. Uh, for King Carl. Uh, King Carl Hubo strikes out in a uh, five in a row in the All Star game, but AL wins nine to seven. Pittsburgh becomes best in the. Uh, I don't know. Um, I guess they, that's what these magic motion cards are. Jesse Barfield, Toronto Blue Jays. Steve Bedrosian, uh, Philadelphia Phillies. I love that Philly uniform. Dave Smith of the Houston Astros. Gary Carter of the New York Mets. Meet the Mets, meet the Mets. Oh, Trevor Bauer literally shat on the Mets. When he posted a Mets jersey and a Dodger jersey in his video, and then he chose the Dodgers, we fucking got Trevor Bauer. Can you fucking believe that? But yeah, uh, Gary Carter, great player, uh, world champion, World Series champion. Hopefully we get, hopefully we get Trevor Bauer a World Series ring this year. Barry Jones of the Pittsburgh Pirates, George Bell of the Blue Jays. The designated hitter for the Mar uh, for the Mariners, Steve Balboni. Reminds me of like weird baseball player name like Kurt Debacqua. Kevin Romine or Romine of the Red Sox. Tracy Woodson of the Los Angeles Dodgers. 
Jim Eisenreich of the Kansas City Royals. Great barbecue. And Charlie O'Brien of the Milwaukee Brewers. And my favorite card from this pack, I'm going to say it's probably going to be... Mm, that's the toughie, but let's go with um let's go with Gary Carter. The Mets need some uh the Nets the Mets need some props after uh losing out on Bauer. So there we go. Gary Carter, favorite card from pack number four. Here we go with pack number five. O'Brien, Texas Rangers. Vaughn Hayes, Philadelphia Phillies. Keith Moreland, San Diego Padres. San Diego, the second largest city. Braves, uh, Atlanta Braves, Pete Smith, pitcher. Detroit Tigers, Pat Sheridan. Texas Rangers, Pete and Caviglia. And hey, Big Brother is watching you. 1984, Tigers roar to pennant. And yes, they did. Tigers run away with AL pennant by 15 games after blazing 9-0, 35-5 start. Pete Rose passes 4,000 lifetime hits. And in my honest opinion, Pete Rose deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. I, don't know, I do not know why he's not. But anywho, Kevin Gross, Kevin Gross, Philadelphia Phillies, Stan Javier, uh, Elk Glen Athletics, Tom Henke, Toronto Blue Jays, Bob, Bob Derriner, Phillies. And have you noticed that there's not that many players named Bob anymore? Al Nipper from the Cubs, Ricky Jordan from the Philadelphia Phillies. Stuart Cliburn of the Anaheim Angels, or I mean the California Angels. Paul Zubella of the Cleveland Indians. And in the infielder, Mike Sharperson of the Dodgers. And Rob Dibble of the Reds. And I think Rob Dibble is one of the nasty boys. Or he ended up being one of the nasty boys the following year. And favorite card from this pack. Let's go with... Um, Rob Dibble. <laughs> kind of got lazy right there. So, we are over the halfway point. Here comes pack number six. Or pack number, yeah, pack number six. Fred McGriff of the Blue Jays. He ended up playing for the Atlanta Braves, and I think he actually won a World Series with the Atlanta Braves. Angels, Johnny Ray. Tigers, Gary Pettis. Cardinals, Vince Coleman. Whoa, Padres, Lance McCullers Sr. Because uh, his son played in the major leagues, but his son is a fucking damn rotten cheater. Should have, should have aborted your kid, Lance McCullough scene. The Wayne Bruce of the Angels. And here we go. 1977. I fucking love that year, man. It's fucking the the year of the Bronx is burning, the New York Yankees, uh, despite them being the Dodgers, whatever. But it's the, the year of Reggie Jackson, the son of Sam, all of this interesting shit. And of course, Reggie Jackson is right there uh, initially. On the card, Reggie Jackson smashes three home runs in a row in Game 6 of World Series to give Yankees first World Championship in 15 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Whatever. Uh, Dave Rigetti of the Yankees. Bruce Ruffin of the Phillies. Dave Magadan of the Mets. 
Jeff Montgomery of the Royals, Carlton Fisk of the White Sox. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, it sucks to see Carlton Fisk in any uniform besides the Red Sox. Otis Nixon of the of the Expos. Dave Bergman, not Bregman, because Bregman's a cheater. Of the Detroit Tigers. And gotta love, gotta love that Tigers logo. Like that, like that. Frightening, petrifying Tigers face. Oh, Pedric of the Pirates. Tom Prince of the Pirates and a 1989 rookie card of Todd Gordon of the Royals. And we gotta give the favorite card to Carlton Fisk. We gotta go with Fisk. Always go with Fisk. Pack number seven of this set. My Anywho, Tim Tuffo of the Mets, Dan Gladden of the Twins, Scott Fletcher of the Rangers, Tommy Herr of the Twins, Kelly Gruber of the Blue Jays, Toronto Blue Jays, Dave Steve of the Blue Jays, 1970. I think that's the Pirates won that World Series, right? Robbie reps to slams. Frank Robinson bashes grass snaps in successive innings. Tom Seaver strikes out 19 in one game. Uh, Thurman Munson, AO, Rookie of the Year. Thurman Munson, recipes as well. The great, great, great uh, Yankees catcher. Um, but I'm pretty sure our 71 was when the... Was 71 when the Pirates won? It was either 70 or 71. I, I, I don't know. Really I wasn't born at that time. But, uh, yeah. Mookie Wilson. Mookie Wilson of the Mets. Steve Lake of the Cardinals. Jeff Parrott of the Expos. Ooh, Bob Stanley of the Red Sox. And uh, yeah, as much as we like to blame Bill Buckner, this is the guy that really fucked up in 19. Joe Mugrain of the Cardinals, Todd Burns of the Athletics, Jimmy Key of the Blue Jays, Bill Brennan, rookie card of the Dodgers, Shad Cruder, rookie card of the Rangers, and Dwight Smith, rookie card of the Cubs. And as much as I like to give the nod to a rookie I really don't know these players so the only one I could really recognize off the bat is uh, um, Lucky Wilson so let's give the nod to Lucky Wilson there we go and we go to pack number eight Glenn Hubbard of the Athletics and the Allenson of the Indians, Chili Davis of the Angels, Tony Phillips of the Athletics, Greg Gagne of the Twins. I thought he was a wrestler. Mike Smith of the Phillies, legendary Phillies player. And uh, the year this time is 1963, and Stan Musial gets two hits in last game. Yeah, I, I figured Stan Musial would play his last game at that year, because because uh, he fucking won like a World Series with the fucking Cardinals like in 1945 or something. You know? Stan the man Musial, Bob Welch of the Athletics, Paul Azenmacher or Azenmaker or whatever. I don't know, man. Uh, as in maker, not like an Instagram account that like, promises you to increase your booty or something. I don't know. Uh, Oakland Athlete, or here's a weird part it's like he has Atlanta Braves right here, but okay, yeah, uh, 
Um, I don't know why I said I was in the next Fuck. Doug Jones of the Indians. Mike Maddox of the Phillies. Eric King of the Tigers. Jerry Roos or Jerry Reese of the uh, Chicago White Sox. Jeff Sellers of the Red Sox. 1989 rookie Norm Charlton of the Reds. 1989 rookie Sandy Alomar and us. Uh, I think there's a Sandy Alomar Jr., right? Jeff Ballard of the Orioles. And let's give favorite card not to um, Mike Schmidt. Because I actually have this jersey. And I didn't wear a jersey this time around. I will wear I will wear a jersey for the next video. For the next baseball card, baseball card opening video. Today. And uh, we got we get to the final pack. At the bottom of the bag, at the bottom of the corner, pack number nine. And uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Mike Aldretti of the Giants. Ernie Witt. Ernie Witt of the Blue Jays. Vance Law of the Cubs. Is he related to like uh, Marshall Law from Tekken? Jim Pankovitz of the Astros. Wow. Now this guy was in each year. And uh, this year is 1956. Make way for Mickey. And of course, I was talking about Mickey Mantle. And he gains the AL Triple, the triple Crown this year. Angels, Mike with Indians, Greg Swindle, Yankees, Richard Dotson, Cardinals, Scott Terry, Red Sox, Mike Smithson, Padres, Greg Booker, Reds, Frank Williams, Giants, Mike Lacrosse, Dodgers, Tim Cruz, Mets, Greg Jeffries, Reds, Danny Jackson, and my favorite card from this pack, fuck it, Dodgers, Jeff Hamilton. And that's it. That's it. Um, that's it for all these cards. That's the first nine packs from this box set. And uh, I wasted like 30 minutes of you guys' time. Uh, favorite car from this? I'm not gonna lie, I love them all. <laughs> I love them all as my children. So, um, but if you guys want me to choose one, let's say it is that um, World Series card right here. That's my favorite card from that pack, from the first nine packs of this. Uh, other than that, that's it. That's the end of the video. You guys take care. Um, we'll go enjoy. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my evening. And uh, take care, you guys. I love y'all. Peace and love, as always. And uh, there's not much more else for me to say. Uh, peace. To the next one. And uh, action figure review coming soon. Baseball cards openings coming soon. And that's it. And uh, rest in peace once again. Rest in peace to Tommy Lasorda, Don Drysdale, Hammer and Hank Aaron. Anyone else I might have missed? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Peace and love. I am out of here. And that's it.